Hello, my name is Clément. Have you ever heard about elephant toothpaste? Hello everyone. Today, I will show you free trick to the platform. Hello everyone, this is Louis Vidal. Today, we are going to present to you acid and basic. But have you ever thought about the science behind a lava lamp? Today, I will show you how lava lamps are made. Hey everyone, so today we're going to be making not one, but two experiments with bubbles. Hello everyone! You who are sitting there watching our video right now, what do you think is making you see us, hear us, and understand us? The answer is simple, your brain. Why well, hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the elephant toothpaste experiment. So, let's go! But for now, let's put radioactivity aside and let's have a closer look on Krug's radiometer. To do this experiment, you will need a coke bottle and a packet of Mentos. Have you ever wondered why birds do not get electrocuted when they sit on electric wires? Yes, the wind! Do you want to know what it is? Come with me and I'll show you. Imagine a world without sound. The world would be so different. No music, no alarm clocks, no conversations. Now let's turn up the volume. What do you hear now? By putting my hand over the light, the light goes through my thumb, giving it this red color. It's a bit like taking an x-ray. Now let's use a 60 watt incandescent bulb to see the effects on our radiometer. We turn it on. As you can see, it makes the radiometer turn. And it turns very fast after all. Quicker and still quicker. Let's imagine this is a real life case where birds have to sit on the wires. So if the bird is sitting on an electric wire, as it always does, it will not be shocked because the electrons prefer passing to areas known as lower potential, the ground. If the bird touches both wires with it, both its feet, it will be shocked and the light is, since the light is the bird, it will be lit up. An easy experiment at home with your own Coke and Mentos. Yes, but matter curves space, which influences and changes how objects move around other bigger objects. And she improved it. So if we place a bigger object in space, the path of this smaller object through space changes. See? Oh well, yeah, now, now the smaller one moves around the massive one. Exactly! Just like the moon around the Earth. And now this happens because the Earth, a big body in space, curves the space around it and makes the moon orbit around it. Wow, okay. And
for a pretty boring movie, so movie makers of classic space movies have you hear sound. Of course, this is not realistically what happens in space. Again, why don't we hear sound in space? Because there is no matter in space to transmit the sound waves created by the objects in space. So now that you are ready, why don't we try it? Just try it here with the fan. And it's working! Now thank you very much to have watched this video and don't forget to like!